Okay guys, welcome to Spartan Leap Photography. Today we're going to be doing a gear review. Okay, hopefully it's going to be very beneficial for you guys. Um, I'm going to be going through the kit and equipment that I'm going to be taking next week when I go down to the Lake District. Um, now when I get down there, um, I'm going to be spending about four days down there, potentially five days. Um, and we're going to be doing a few different routes. So Scarfell Pike, Helvellyn. Um, we're going to be going down to Buttermere and over Win over to Windermere as well. So it um, should be a good few days. Um, doing a bit of wild camping at the same time. So this gear review is literally the kit and equipment I'm going to be taking. Obviously, it's UK based. Um, hopefully, it should be very beneficial for you guys. Um, informational and... If you have any questions um, at the end, please do obviously leave it in the comments box below um, and I will try to answer anything as best I possibly can. Okay, afternoon guys. Um, so obviously onto my, before my previous uh, blog uh, introduction, this is most of my kit that I'm gonna be taking next week when I go to the Lake District. Um, so we'll slowly go through it now. Um, just bits of kit and equipment. Um, and um, yeah, you can see what you think, um, have a look, compare it to your own sort of kit, things that you might want to invest in. Um, obviously, my kit's not perfect, it's not the best of kit on the market, but it's um, it's it's pretty good. Um, obviously, next week, going to have some fun times, going to go to Lake District for uh, probably about five days, uh, four nights um, with uh, these two. But yeah, um, and we're going to have some fun. Um, some nice beautiful places up there to go walk anyway okay starting off then so I've got my two sleeping bags here um, I've got the the Rab um, Ascent 700 which is my heavier version which is down to minus 12 degrees and I've got my um, Rab Neutrino 3 um, which is down to minus 4 degrees now obviously I've got two um because i have i go out on heavier expeditions when i'm going to more extreme places and then obviously general uk sort of stuff the neutrino free is absolutely fine now i fully will not go anywhere without having a bivy bag this is my north face bivy bag just below there um and it's the summit series bivy bag it's about 285 pounds but great investment um i think if you're going to go out and you're going to get into mountaineering or you're going to go out um, while camping and doing stuff, um, I think you're sort of daft to go out without a bivy bag, really. Um, so if people don't know how sleeping bags work, obviously you warm yourself up with the down feathers inside and your body warmth obviously pushes through the sleeping bag and then it hits the bivy bag and bounces back in. So you're sort of like a cocoon of hot, warm air. Um which is what you want, really, in the cold win um, cold nights, um, and cold, especially the cold winter nights. Um, now, without that, obviously, the hot air is going to go through the sleeping bag slowly, of course. It's not going to go through straight away, but the hot air will go through the sleeping bag, and it will just dissipate into the atmosphere. So, yep, yeah, fully go. Any anywhere you're going to go, I would go with a bivy bag. Um, now, moving down, then, obviously, I've got my roll mat under here. This is just a normal mountain equipment roll mat, uh, mountain uh, warehouse, but it's it does its purpose keeps that cold bottom ground um, gives you a nice warm layer between you um, and a separated layer between you and the ground which is what you want because obviously you don't want to be laying on the cold floor and you get quite ill and uh, it's not very nice uh, moving up then i've got my summit series um, uh, jacket here which is fantastic fantastic bit of kit um north face jacket north face always do some good stuff but this is the pertex one um and it's slightly waterproof um it, it not not fully waterproof but it, it's it's warm enough it does what it does and it keeps the wind out so i take that as my my mid layer i've got here are my phd mountain software boots now these are made out of duck down and they're fantastic i would not go anywhere anymore without them put them on get in my sleeping bag and get my fat one down um they're a great bit of kit i really love having them uh moving up then i've got just general general gilet which is the um i think it's the everest expedition one that they did one point um uh, when my sister climbed Everest, but yeah, it's um, it's a great little gilet. Um, I like just throw it on, just keeps that wind off um, your midsection, keeps you nice and warm, keeps your core warm, which is what you want to do. And then next to that, just a normal mountain equipment um, hat for your head. Obviously, as you know, most of your heat dissipates out your head, so you want to keep that warm. Moving up, then 
I've got a couple of flasks, one for me, one for Mrs. Now these are just normal LaVenture flasks that you can buy from any sort of outdoor shop. Um, and uh, yeah, they're, they're a great bit of kit. Um, just anything you want in them, brews, cups of tea, coffee, and they're just, yeah. You tired, mate? You tired? <laughs> Um, and next to that then I've got these flasks. Now these are fuel flasks, but I use them for water as well. So you can put water in them, um, fuel, whatever you want to carry. And they, they seal really tight and they're just really lightweight as well. So I love taking them up the mountains with me. Um, I normally obviously take both of them. I've got one there and one over there. Moving down then, I've got a Rabbit Extreme Gore-Tex jacket. Now this is about, I think it's about £500 when I first bought it. But I've had this about six seven years now and it's still going strong i have to use a bit of a waterproof um spray on it now which i use once a year but it's it's still you know serving its purpose and as they say you buy once and it lasts a long time if you buy you know not so much good stuff then it doesn't last very long at all so yeah it depends how much money you got and what your budget is but yeah um great gore-tex jacket you definitely need one of them just to throw on you when the uh downpours come now here I've got just a generic Rab pair of waterproof trousers. They're also completely Gore-Tex, um, just for my missus, so that she can throw them on. So if she's having, a, if it's having a bit of a throwdown day, she's not having a bad day. Because if she's having a bad day, I'm having a bad day. As they say, happy missus, happy life. Um, and then above, I've got some um, what we call in the military ration packs. Um, if you, anyone don't know, I, I am in the military. I've done um, 11 and a half years in the infantry. So, um, yeah, any squad who's watching this will probably be throwing up in their mouth. But generically, they are good to carry with you. I mean, if you do see the price of them in Cotswolds now, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's just, it's just, it's just, just mental, mental prices. Um, now, above this is a fantastic bit of kit. This is the Nomad 70. Um, this is a complete so set of solar panels, uh, and these will run all of my electrical stuff. So I charge my portable battery, which is the Goal Zero Yeti 150, um, and that is literally a lithium portable battery, um, and it has obviously different charging ports on it. But yeah, solar panels, they plug into that and charge that off the so sun. Um, you can also charge loads of other stuff off it as you can see in there they've got the all the other charging adapters inside there as well so usb whatever you need bit pricey they are quite expensive i think these are about 200 pounds give or take something like 150 200 but if you're going to be going away uh, you've got another form of charging your phone then obviously solar panels are way forward next to that i've got two portable phone chargers um, these are literally just the USB ones, USB ports in there, um, USB ports in there. Um, I'll take two of them with me. One's a 280 megahertz one, sorry, 28,000 megahertz one, and one's a 22,000 megahertz one. Um, yeah, and they last ages. I've had them on exercises and stuff, and they, they, they last um, a fair old while. Yeah, as I said then, so the Yeti 150 from goal zero these are quite expensive well, i think it's about 350 pounds but the difference is i wanted one with an ac port in it so i could literally plug like you know normal stuff into it like a tv or whatever it was you know tv sockets is as such um the ac port so you can like plug your laptop into it f um phones cameras all other bits of kit, kit and equipment that you uh might want to use and then obviously you can run them all simultaneously at the same time and obviously it tells you the battery percentage there so yeah fantastic bit of kit uh just above that then i've just got a machete just for normal cutting down of trees uh, firewood and stuff when i'm lighting fires and stuff um yeah and that's pretty much all that is moving up i've got a pillow just for my missus because she will not she doesn't have a good night's sleep i'll be in for it so i'll take this it just you know, compresses right down nice and nice and small and it's just a nice bit of kit to have now next to this i have a fire starter obviously another one of them bottles like i said earlier uh fire starter which you know i'm not a weirdo i do take normal lighters with me but 
if your matches and your lighter are wet and if you have like fell into a river or something you need a form of way to start to light a fire um so i'd always take that with me moving up then this is compressed um liquidized fuel um, and i literally just take one of them with me again just for scenario i need to light a fire nice and quick i have got that and the fire starter um silooms uh these are 48 hour ones 24 hour ones I wouldn't go anywhere without them really, not anymore. Um, I just think it's silly wasting batteries when um, <laughs> when you might as well um, have silos and not waste the batteries. In, you know, they're good to crack, put them in your tent. Me and Mrs. when we're looking up at stars, we crack up with them and see what we're doing. Um, Gore-Tex Berghouse jacket, this is hers. This is the Gore-Tex one um, from Paralyte. Pack light, sorry, shell. Um, it, it was an absolute steal. I got it literally the other day. It was meant to be like 100 odd quid. I think I got it for like 20 quid. It was an absolute bargain. Um, spare socks. My EOS 700 camera. And then my GPS and head torches, which is just there. I've got two torches. One of these is for literally, um, if you get stuck on the mountain, put that on top of my day sack. Um, and the East Mountain Rescue can see where you are and it's absolutely bright as anything and it's waterproof as well. Three head torches and one as a backup. GPS, this is the Garmin uh, Fortrex 301. Always tar carry a GPS with me now. And now I appreciate not everyone can afford GPSs. I get that, not, you know, but just me being the military, I've always carried a GPS just because if you need to know where you are and you don't know, you've got a form of when of giving someone a grid reference. Um, and that's like, they do like 12 figure grid references, 10 figure grids. Um, moving up then, I've got my Summit Series Antarctic Expedition jacket, which is super warm. Super lightweight, um, it's just another layer to throw on top. That's for her when she gets a bit cold. Then we've got the Talon Offspray 44 litre day sacks or packs. There's one there and then my one here. Um, both exact same, just two different colours. Um, they're absolutely ridiculously light. It's it's absolutely outrageous how light they are. Like you pick them up and you feel like you've like picked up nothing. It's, it's so, so crazy. So yeah, great bit of kit, and you can get so much stuff inside them as well. Um, moving down then, I've got here, I've got the Berghaus Peak 3-2 uh, one-man tent. Now, it is a one-man tent, but I've got in it um, on my own, and there's so much space inside, so you, I like it nice and cosy, obviously with my missus as well. Obviously, if you're going with a guy, um, <laughs> you know, one of your mates, you probably want to just have a tent to your own, but me and missus, we like to cosy up together with the dogs, um, and yeah chill and relax so um when you get inside it obviously it's it's quite cozy um but there is spare space in there space for your pack and stuff if you want to look up there just type in um, burghaus peak 3.2 and you can see um how big it is itself moving up then just another roll mat a uh, nice simple one there and then my jet boy next to it now i won't go anywhere without one of these this is the first thing i bought when i got in the military and it's just a fantastic bit of kit it's so good um yeah no matter what if it's raining windy stormy it always always provides um quick and fast heat and source uh warm hat there for missus uh, and then two fuel canisters now these will literally go inside the jet boil um they cozy up inside it and it's all nice and compact because obviously as you're going away you're going long treks across the mountains you want to be absolutely maximizing that space inside your pack uh dog bolt and these <laughs> my missus is probably gonna go nuts but i love these these are literally my favorite cups ever these are the um snow peak 450 titaniums and they're literally fantastic um take one each because one it's titanium so you can throw it straight on a fire warm your brew up if it's got cold um as mine normally do because i normally put up the tent make my brew and then by the time i put my tent up my, my brew's cold so whack it straight on the jet boil blast it for about you know a minute minute and a half and you, your brew is nice and warm again so you're good to go um so yeah titanium and they also dissipate um heat really quick so even though you've put it on a fire take it off literally take it off after a minute and a half put it on the ground 
heat dissipates into the ground and you can pick it up and just use it unlike other stuff other metals and that where the heat is just inside is going to burn your hands which you don't want uh waterproof bags take plenty of them keep loads on you and that is pretty much it for kit and equipment i take with me um as i say lake district uh next week scarfell pike helvellyn and uh that is what i'm gonna be taking with us um or me and me and miss can be taking with us um plus uh this little critter Whoop. say hello hey benny <laughs> and this one down here <laughs> but yeah that is all the kit and equipment i'll be taking with us Cheers for watching. Got any questions, queries, dramas? Um, please whack it in the comments block box below and I will try and answer it. Um, obviously, if there's anything you want to know about any of the kit down here, please obviously do ask and um, I will try and help you out as best as I possibly can. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely day.